Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma. This here is my little craft corner where I share things about knitting, sometimes other yarn related stuff, mostly knitting. And today I have my trusty little laptop again to share with you 10 patterns that make the perfect staple pieces for your wardrobe. And today I am wearing my Amadeo summer sweater that I knit this summer. It is a lovely sweater that I have shared like many times on this channel so you can find pretty much anything you want to know about this sweater in one of my knitting podcasts that I will link up here if you're interested. Um, I'm not going into much detail today but this is just so gorgeous, so cozy. And this is not a basic staple piece at all. This is very much a statement piece. Uh, these patterns that I have here, these 10 patterns are all like a bit more staples. I have two of each category and I have five categories so that works out perfectly. The first one is turtlenecks and I'm just going to the side of it so I can show you the patterns over here. Uh, the first one I have is The Classic by Espastico and this is a turtleneck that's not folded over so it's just standing up straight and you don't fold it over. I um, really like how classic, how basic this one is looking. You can really make this your own if you want it with like different colors, maybe some color work, stripes, whatever. Uh, it's a really nice basic piece to play off of and this is a free pattern so that works out great as well. It is knit up with like fingering and lace held together making a DK weight uh, for a four to four and a half um, size needle. And as I mentioned this is a free pattern so that is perfect. Then the second turtleneck I have is by Petit Knit and it is the Wednesday sweater. This one is knit up in bulky weight yarns that is worsted plus a lace wave and it's a 5mm pattern. And this turtleneck is folded over and it is made with twisted rib instead of regular ribbing. There's a bit more detail, not a lot, but like a bit more interestingly detailed pattern. And I think it makes a great basic. Um, if you have some yarn that you really want to shine, as I sometimes have with hand dyed yarn, I really want the yarn to shine and then the pattern to kind of take the back seat. This would be a great pattern for that, as are all these sand patterns. Um, they just make great staples to go any direction you want to in. Then the next category is v neck sweaters. And the first one I have here is sweater number 14, V-neck version, by my favorite things knitwear. It is knit up in bulky weight yarn. Um, it's light fingering plus lace plus another strand of lace. Together it's good for 6mm needles with a gauge of 16 stitches. And this is a pattern that I'm actually planning on knitting, but then with two fingering weight strands held together. Um, I'm planning on knitting it anytime soon. I don't know when it's going to happen. But this is just a great basic staple wardrobe piece that will pair well with anything. You can again do it stripes, do a little bit of color work, a little bit of texture if you want it. But on its own, it's a great, great pattern. Um, another v neck sweater I have is the Harlow sweater v neck by Kadri. And this is lace with sport held together making a worsted weight uh, gauge of 19 stitches for four and a half millimeters and this is just also a v-neck it's a bit similar to the other one um but they're just a little less ribbing and obviously the gauge is different i've never knit a pattern by k3 before but this just looks Perfectly cozy, comfy, staple piece that will go with anything in your wardrobe. Um, yeah, I just... If I had the yarn, I would knit this up straight away, basically. Uh, as with all of these patterns, uh, I don't really sound like a broken record doing these kind of videos because it's like, oh, I really want to knit this, I really want to knit that, I really want to knit everything. Um, 
and everything makes a great staple piece and everything would pair well with anything in your wardrobe and anything can be upgraded by doing stripes, color work or something else. I'm going to try not to repeat myself too often but I really like want to stop at each pattern and talk a little bit about it but I start repeating myself. Um, anyway, next category is like drop shoulders or set in sleeves, right? I don't know how you want to call them. Um, I'm calling them drop shoulders. If it's anything else, please let me know because I'm never too sure how to call these. Um, this is drop shoulders. And the first pattern I have in this category is the Dartmoor sweater by K3. And this is, again, Kayri. Uh, she comes up twice, I think, in this entire video and air back to back, which is funny. Um, but yeah, this drop shoulder pattern is really classic, really great. But if you have drop shoulders, you knit the front panel, you knit the back panel, then you connect them underneath the arm, and then you go uh, in the round down, and then you pick up for the sleeves, and you knit the sleeves. This is a pretty straightforward pattern construction that I really like. And this is a bulky weight pattern, so you have bulky plus lace held together, uh, making a 5.5mm uh, gauge of 15 stitches. And this, I, I just really enjoy how simple uh, this looks pretty much. It's a pretty straightforward pattern, but um, it makes a great classic pattern. Then the second one I have is by the Knit Pro Girl, and it is called the Cove Sweater. And this seems to have a bit of a thicker neckband than the other one. And this is on a worsted weight gauge. A DK plus lace held together makes worsted weight yarn for a gauge of 18 stitches for a 5 millimeter needle. I really like how most of these patterns are just like big chunky needles that you can just go uh, with. For me anything above like a 4 millimeter needle is like big chunky uh, territory. Yeah this is just really pretty. I really like the details on the back. Uh, it is, it's one stripe that goes like a thicker stripe, you can see it in the picture, but uh, I really like how uh, it's constructed in the back. Because the other one just had like a pickup action, this really has a like stuck in that edge going to the side. I really like that detail. Uh, then we're moving on to raglans, which is really pretty much my basic go to pattern construction way when I want to knit a sweater. Um, I first of all have the Semper sweater by Knit Pro Girl and this is just a really cute, gorgeous, plain raglan sweater with a folded over neckline, I really like that detail as well. It is a 4.5mm four, a 4 pattern for a gauge of 21 stitches um, and it is in fingering weight yarn but I think Above there it says it is uh, like suggested yarn is knitting for all of merino, knitting for all of soft silk mohair. So uh, that's fingering plus lace held together, um, making it a DK pattern, which does match up with the gauge. It's just a really plain, really pretty um, pattern that I will not go into too much detail about because it's a plain raglan. Uh, another plain raglan I have is the Sweater Samilla by Amalie Nerenst. I hadn't heard of her before making this video, but, but this pattern just looks really, really pretty. It is again a plain raglan sweater with a bit more, more chunky needles, uh, and it has a pretty big um, raglan like stitch edge thing. How do you call it? Like the raglan bits that go this way are pretty big. Um, I think it's like four or five stitches big, and on the gauge that it, this is, it's like showing up pretty big. Uh, because this is sport plus lace weight held together, making it a DK weight pattern. 
with a gauge of 20 stitches for 5 millimeters. So this is a pretty chunky quick knit I think and this is really lovely. Uh, this pattern was published in November of 2023 so it's pretty recent. There are no record projects for this I just saw. Um, I don't know I really like it. I really enjoy this um, pattern. Have not knitted obviously because it's pretty new but if I stumble upon the yarn to make this and this would just be a great pattern to like a great plain stockinette sweater raglan pattern not too much purling not too much going on um always really like that and the pattern does not involve too much purling just really quick and easy knit um for the off days then the last category i have is like a bit more interesting patterns. Uh, there are still like staple pieces, basic pieces, but also have a little bit of that interesting thing going on. So the first one I have here is the Legs Pullover by Ozetta. And what's interesting about this is the construction method. Because it's not, it's kind of a drop shoulder, kind of not. Um, wouldn't call it a saddle shoulder either. Um, it has no information about how the shoulder is constructed, like how she calls it. But it basically has. Let me see if I can show you this. You can also see it in the picture, but like this band going this way, and then you have a front panel and a back panel, and then part of the sleeve stitches is like attached to this and the rest is picked up. I don't know how you would call this but I think it's a pretty interesting shoulder um, shoulder construction. I think it's like it elevates the pattern a little bit both in a um, like end result kind of way and in a while you're knitting it kind of way. It's just your basic plain sweater, but uh, like one up a little bit. Um, it's pretty to look at. It's probably pretty fun to knit. I have not knitted myself, but it looks pretty fun to knit. Uh, so yeah, that's why it's in the kind of interesting uh, section of this video. And the last pattern I have, which is also kind of interesting, is the Serene sweater by K3. Um, this is a DK weight pattern, um, the gauge is 21 stitches and it uses 4mm needles and what's interesting here is the neckline. This is sort of a turtleneck but also a really loose turtleneck so it would just like flop down and kind of sit a bit lower and just hang over a little bit. I don't know how to call this, I don't know how to say this. This is why it's in the interesting uh, section of this video. It's a really fun pattern. I believe the rest is just a plain regular sweater. The edges on the sleeves at least are like rolled over. So you just knit stuck in that uh, until the end. So it's just like a natural rolling over kind of sleeve. I really think that pairs well with the neck construction kind of to relax the what happens, happens um, kind of way of constructing this. I don't know, really, really fun pattern. Um, and as I have been mentioning all over this video, would definitely need this if I had the yarn, if I had the time, if I, like all these circumstances were there, would definitely need this. But that's with all these patterns. I really hope you got some value out of this video. Um, maybe you even, got some inspiration for your next project or your next five projects who knows let me know in the comments down below uh, if you saw a pattern on here that's a great staple or maybe you have your own perfect little staple pieces uh, would love that would love it if you let me know that down below as well uh, just leave a little comment telling me what your favorite staple piece is your go-to pattern if you have that would love to know if you got any value out of this video, I would really like it if you 
click the like button that's like over here I think or over here I never know which way things go but down here uh, there is a like button would love it if you press that um, I think the like button is right next to the subscribe button so if you would like to tap that one as well so I can finally reach my 1000 subscriber goal that would be even more incredible uh, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys again real soon Bye!